The question is now, is it time for Jason Ross and Trivecta? You guys have been probably sitting here waiting, seeing me talk about a bunch of nonsense and saying, man, dude, can you just shut the fuck up and get onto Jason Ross and Trivecta? If that's you, well, we're here. We have got the collaboration that Ophelia has been hyping up for like the past week. From Ashes to Love, Jason Ross, Trivecta, Rabbits. No idea what to expect. Trivecta and Rabbits is like a match made in heaven, though. I feel like their tracks, like their styles just blend beautifully. And it's no surprise that they've worked together like numerous times. So not surprised to see them working here again. Um, just a match made in heaven. Oh, yeah. Like Erlen said, insane album art. Like, what the hell is this, dude? Like, the Earth? Like, some sort of planet thing? With, like, snow, Earth, lava? Yeah. Insane album art. Let's see if the track matches up. On From Ashes to Love. We get female rabbits to start? Okay. I have also tried my absolute hardest to avoid any spoilers. I have not heard a single second of this song somehow. Very nice sort of snare there. Very Jason Ross in these verses here so far. Ooh. Nice, nice little chant there. Beautiful. As you can expect with every Jason Ross tune, absolutely fantastic percussion. This sounds like it's gonna be so good. Very oh. dry back up. Great builds, too. Are we getting it? Okay, I was not expecting a second drop. What the hell are we getting? Oh, what the fuck? Stop, 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 stop. Ew, dude. That second drop was gnarly. The bass on that. First drop. Sound design definitely delivered on the first drop. Mixing was really well done as well. Feel like the idea was slightly basic. Second drop was mind blowing, though. That was goaded. Dude, great vocals. Great vocals by Rabbits, man. Really hoping for kind of a switch up in the third drop here from drop one. Alright, drop three. Oh my god! Nice little lead in the back. All right. Nice little, nice little outro here. Interesting. I think. Let me. Let, let's start off with. Uh, let's just go kind of through the track here. Verses. Jason, uh, you can tell, you can tell Jason Ross versus from like a mile away, man. Super clean percussion, kind of just leans into this more ambient style, more organic style sound. 
absolutely love that in combination with uh, Rabbit's vocals. Um, both the female and the male worked really well in verses one and two. Um, let's also mention, let's, let's start off as well. Drop two. What the fuck was that, man? <laughs> like the minimalist sort of wobbly dubstep from Trivecta and Jason Ross would have never expected that in a million years. Yeah, that delivered so well. Super unique from them. Great to see them uh, branching out and trying some new stuff with that drop. And uh, yeah, an another thing as well, build-ups were really well. Oscar said it best. The chants and the build-ups were fantastic. Kind of built this sort of epic um, sort of sound that they were going for. Um, how do I put this, though? I feel like drops one and three do leave a little bit to be desired. I'm not going to lie. I think with... You know, with Trivecta on the track, he loves to go for, you know, the arpeggiated leads to kind of add a little bit of flavor into the drops. Um, definitely feels like it could have had that. The drops were super full in general, but um, just kind of felt slightly basic um, in terms of the sound that they went for. Uh, obviously had some unique fills and some nice percussion and whatnot, but... Just the main sound on display kind of left a little bit to be desired, in my opinion. Outside of that, man, it was a pretty nice tune. So, uh, and the 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 it added lead in the third drop definitely made the sound a little fuller. But um, a trivecta a trivecta lead on that, like sort of arpeggiated lead, would have added so much, in my opinion. But um, overall, definitely still a good tune for me. I'm gonna go with. I think I, I'm feeling the same. His last heroes. I think we're going to go with an 8.75. I think that's m probably going to be one that grows on me, though. It's kind of crazy, too, because I remember when I re reviewed One More Day, my big issue was the arpeggiated leads. I was like, <laughs> at least on first listen, I was like, I thought the arpeggiated leads took a little bit too much away from the main idea. And now this one, it's like, I want, <laughs> and the second drop, I was like, the second drop is gnarly. And then this one, this uh, the second drop is just as great. And I'm like, I wish that there was an arpeggiated lead. Like Jason Ross is probably watching these videos and he's like, dude, what the hell is what what the hell are you saying here? Like you're gonna say in one song the arpeggiated leads don't work, and then the other song you say you want them. <laughs> oh man. That's funny though. The eagle trivecta sound, yeah, something like not necessarily, it didn't even have to be like that. I'm thinking more of like a uh, like a you can be my light sort of sound. That would have I feel like a like a sort of trivecta style lead would have worked so well on that. But yeah, um, interested to just see if that's like sort of a one off. Whether we're gonna get more from Trivecta or Jason Ross. They you know both kind of released albums, so interested to see kind of what they each do for themselves. But uh, yeah, I think. Uh, not too bad of a collaboration from them.